Hi guys! Today I'm reviewing the Nespresso by DeLonghi Essenza Mini. This is the smallest Nespresso machine you can buy. It comes in black, red, and lime. It's very small. It's only 4.3 inches wide, 12.7 inches deep, and 8 inches in height. The cord length is 30 inches. It weighs 5 pounds. This Nespresso is 1,255 watts and offers two cup sizes. There's one button for espresso, 40 milliliters or 1.35 ounces, and one for Lungo, 110 milliliters or 3.71 ounces. This unit uses a high pressure pump, 19 bars, to brew espresso, and that's similar to higher end pump espresso machines used at cafes. By the way, more bars don't mean a better machine or better coffee. Generally what you need is a 15 bar pressure pump to give you the ideal nine bars to extract the perfect espresso. Other Nespresso models like the Virtuo spins the capsule up to 7,000 times per minute to extract coffee. They don't use a high pressure pump. So even though this model is the smallest and least expensive, it works more like a real espresso machine when compared to other models. If you wanna get this Nespresso, I'll put a link right below this video. This is the removable water tank. Just lift the lid and it pulls away. To put the container back, just press it down and it'll click into place. The container holds 20.3 ounces of water. The drip tray is removable. And this is the pod that contains the used capsules. It can hold up to six capsules. When you're brewing, you can put a cup on the drip tray. This won't fit, so remove the drip tray and you can put your cup directly on the counter. With the drip tray removed, you have five inches of clearance. And with the drip tray in place, you have about three and a half inches. With this unit, you get 14 Nespresso capsules. There are different types of pods. There's Intenso, Espresso, Master Origin, Lungo, Decaffeinated, and variations. The number next to each coffee is the intensity. If there's a red dot on the bottom of the capsule, that means it's decaffeinated. This capsule's name is Levanto, and if I don't look at the chart, there's no way I'm gonna be able to tell um, what it is or how intense it is. I think it would have been more user-friendly to put the intensity number on the label so you don't have to refer to a chart. These capsules cost about 70 cents each, which is a few cents more than Keurig pods if you're buying a good quality espresso roast. Remember though, with Keurig, you're not getting a real espresso. It's a more concentrated cup of coffee. These Nespresso pods are aluminum and recyclable, which I'm really happy about because single pods are horrible for the environment. You can call Nespresso and they'll send you a free prepaid plastic recycling bag, or you can get one online. Store the used pods in the bag, and when the bag's full, you could drop it off at UPS or Surlatob, William Sonoma, Macy's, Bloomingdale's, and other locations. The recycling plant separates the coffee from the aluminum. The aluminum is melted down to make other products and coffee's composted. There is a video that shows the whole recycling process, so you know the capsules are actually being recycled. I'll put a link to that video below if you want to see it. An instruction manual is included. You also get $10 off your first coffee order. When you first get the unit, remove the water container and wash it with warm soapy water and dry. Then fill this with water. There is a little line here, so don't fill above that. Remove the drip tray. You have to run water through the unit three times before you make your first espresso. I'm using a large measuring cup so I can collect the water from all three cycles. Plug in the unit. Turn the machine on by pressing the espresso button or the Lungo button. I'll just press the espresso button. You see the lights are blinking. That means the water is being heated. The light's solid. That means the water is heated. That took just a few seconds. I'll press the Lungo button. Now I'll do it two more times. Last one. That was done really quickly. Now we can make espresso. As you heard, it was very loud. I'll fill the container with water. You can brew just hot water if you don't put in a capsule. Choose either the espresso or lungo button. To make espresso, fill the container with water. Press either button to turn the unit on. The lights will blink and when they're steady, we can put the capsule in. Lift the lever. 
I'll choose the Levanto, which is an intensity of six. Put the capsule in, close the lever, and I'll press espresso. You saw how fast that was. It took about 20 seconds. It smells really good. You can see the crema or the golden cream that sits on top of the espresso. It's hot and it tastes pretty good. So this espresso is 1.35 ounces. If you want to change that amount, you can actually program this unit to brew whatever amount you want. How you do that is to press and hold the espresso button and just let go of the button when you have the right amount in the cup. The light will blink three times and remember that amount for future brews. And that's the same for the Lungo button. It is a nice feature to be able to program the amount you want in the cup. There's no milk frother included. If you want to purchase a milk frother separately, I'll put a link to a really good one right below this video. This mini is also sold with its own frother as a bundle. If you want to get that instead of buying a separate frother, I'll put a link to that below. After you finish brewing, eject the capsule. Lift the lever and the capsule will fall into the container below. Now I'll choose the Linicia, which has an intensity of four. And I'll choose Lungo for the larger cup. There's enough water in the container. The light was blinking, now it's steady. I'll press the Lungo button. And this is 3.71 ounces. The temperature is about 160 degrees Fahrenheit. The cup is cold and my granite counters are also cold. This also tastes good and it's hot. You can brew four or five lungos with the one container of water and that's pretty good considering the size of the unit. And there's a second capsule ejected. Three minutes after you brew, the unit goes into an eco mode to save energy. The unit shuts off automatically nine minutes after the last brew. If you want to turn the machine off manually, just hold both buttons and press them down together. To clean, unplug the unit. All the parts should be washed in warm soapy water and dried. The drip tray and the lid, the water container when you need to, and the container that the used pods are stored in. The outside can be wiped with a damp cloth and dried. This machine should be descaled once a year. Descaling instructions are included inside the manual. Machines like these are built for convenience and speed. If you don't want to spend the time and effort to grind beans to the perfect fine consistency, tamp using the correct pressure into a portafilter to create that compact puck, this automatic machine will work for you. It's small, fast, very easy to use, and there's hardly any cleaning. It's cute, compact, and barely takes up any space on the counter. If you want to get this Nespresso, I'll put a link right below this video. As always, I hope you found this review helpful. If you did, give it a thumbs up and subscribe for more reviews. I'll see you next time. Thanks for watching.